Hey everybody, welcome to Rob Squad and the Creators. It has been an absolute pleasure to have this amazing guest in all week this week. But before we get to that, let us introduce ourselves. As always, you are here with your boy Jay. Hey y'all, you're also here with your girl Amber and we've been hanging out this week with Andy McCluskey, one half of the iconic band Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark. Well, Andy, we're gonna keep you a little bit longer. So welcome back to Rob Squad and the Creators. Welcome. Thank you very much. I'm enjoying this week. I don't want it to stop, but uh, I guess we run out of songs in the end, but uh, let's, I hope we can do one more. Um, before we get started, I just, I just had a, a couple questions, you know, I kind of just wanted to ask you. Um, do you still enjoy playing, you know, mini, uh, and I feel like I ask almost, I feel like I ask every artist this. When it's they interesting. Channel. It's another perspective. Yeah, do you still enjoy playing some of your biggest hits whenever you do uh, go out on the road? Absolutely. I don't understand artists who are like, oh, I'm so bored of that song or we're going to do an instrumental yeah. version of it or we're going to break it down or we're not even going to play it. Have some respect. These are the songs that made your career. They're the, what people want to hear. And, and you know, do you know what? Listen, this, this, is, this is the way I view it. When we are about to start Enola Gay... <laughs> I know the opening bar. Yeah. It's like sitting at a poker table with three aces and two kings. As soon as they go down, you've won. <laughs> you know you're going to win. Uh, you yeah. got it. We hear you have a, another song for us today, and it's got kind of a funny story because of the the, the name of well, it. Well, it's a question, right? Because yeah. there's two titles to it. So definitely interested. Can you tell, kind of tell us about those? Yeah, we, we were touring France uh, after Enola Gay being a huge hit there. And we, we were playing lots of cities that were associated with the historical character Joan of Arc. So being a geek, yeah. I write, I'm going to research Joan of Arc and, and then I'm going to write a song. I wrote one song, which I didn't think was working, so I wrote another song. Anyway, we were about to go to the studio, and our drummer Malcolm said, are you going to do the waltz version of Joan of Arc as well when we record? I said, ah, it's not working. He said, let me play drums on it. I'll make it a hit. And he did, and it was. So this is the one I want really? to play for you. Um, I wrote two songs called Joan of Arc. One, they were both released as singles in the UK consecutively. The record company begged me to change the name because they said, you can't release another song that's a different one with the same right. name. People won't buy it. <laughs> and it'll be total confusion. And I was 22 years old going, yeah, I like this confusion. Let's mess with the record company. <laughs> um, but in the end, they, they persuaded me. So this song became Made of Orléans as opposed to being Joan of Arc. And we heard yesterday, okay. Paul's Forever Live and Die. This one was just written by me. And this is back to the simple again. And also, when you see the okay. video, we got so lucky. We were in a studio called The Manor, and we were filming, and it was snowy. And the video, we just got lucky with the video because it was all done in snow, and it just looks, ah. Perfect. All right. I'm ready to jump right into yeah. it. Guys, we are so, so ready to check out this amazing song, Made of Orleans. You guys, make sure you like the video, hit subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell so you never miss a video. Let's jump right into it. I'm excited. Let's go. I went for a weird intro but it didn't stop it being a hit. Yeah. This is a cool intro. Look at her intro.
this one is so cool. Like the other ones you brought us have been really, really cool, but I love the like the medieval, like Renaissance sound of this one. And then not only the Renaissance medieval type of sound, the way that you guys are kind of drawing your vocal cords to kind of match and fit in those in those cool little pockets of the overall sound. I don't know. I I, I think it's really cool. I don't, when it comes to like this type of medieval Renaissance sound, I don't know what instrument it is back there kind of making the sound. I don't know if it's got some organ in it or what, but it is really cool. Um, I love that when we did the last song, you found a way to incorporate a brass section into the mix with synth. And so I think it's really cool that also in this one, you're showing your creativity with mixing synth with what you're calling like that medieval like, sound. Yeah, but really, I don't know what that sound You is. have this way, you found in the electricity, you found a way to capture the sound of electricity. You found a way to bring brass and synth together in the, in the other one, forever live and die. And then this one, you found a way to bring that time period, the setting of, of what Joan was even going into, right? You found a way to enca encapture like that entire sound and mix it with synth. It's very interesting and creative. Well, thank you. I mean, it's a it, again, it's it's a kind of odd mixture of things because what we're doing yeah. there is yeah. I got really I went through a period of getting fascinated by the Edinburgh military tattoo. I don't know if you ever heard of it. Big big bagpipe bands. Which had march like marching uh -huh. bands, you know, with a bit with a boom, boom, -ta 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 boom. Mm -hmm. So that's a boom, cha cha, boom, oh, cha cha, yes. boom, cha cha, okay. -ta -ta -ta. So I, I like this military marching band sound, and then we put it with uh -huh. this. This is the main melody is a mellotron, and that's the thing the Beatles used for mm. the flutes and the things on Strawberry Fields. It, it 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 works off tape <laughs> loops. It's it's the weirdest looking thing. It, it work, you press the key and it, it pulls a piece of tape across the off the head and it plays these tapes. Now that sound that na 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 na. It's actually the violin mm -hmm. of a mellotron. It kind of sounds like a cat playing a bagpipe, but it's <laughs> but it's, yes. it's, it's it sounds more like a bagpipe than a violin. And that that's the sound I was going for using yes. the synths to be. To, to, to kind of create this kind of so bagpipe cool. military band thing. And so that's the medieval sound that you're yeah. hearing, Jay. That, yeah. That, yeah, that, it's crazy what all you guys were able to do with the synth. Like, man, you, you guys really were pioneers when it, when it came to synth and, you know, putting it with other different kind of genres or other different kind of sounds. That yeah. is so, so cool. Like, now, now that you our say mantra. it, like, it's popped in my head and I'm thinking about it, like, yeah. Yeah. Our yeah, mantra sure. was always the rules are there to be broken. In fact, we have to break the rules to make <laughs> our own music. We don't want to sound like anybody yeah. else. You guys definitely don't sound like anybody else. And and then you come to the music video and uh, that leads me to ask you, like, did you guys, did you enjoy doing and making the music videos? This was the first video we ever did that we enjoyed. This was this was made uh, just before Christmas in 1981, and we were we were in the Manor Studio, the indoors with the fireplace and the big table. That's the dining room at this amazing mansion house in in Oxfordshire. Um, I mean, we're working class kids. We'd never stayed in four poster beds and big houses with massive fireplaces, so we were just loving it, and. The, the the footage of um, of the actress on the horse was filmed at Fountains Abbey, uh, 200 miles away on a different day. But it snowed and we just got really, really lucky um, that, 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 mm -hmm. that we were in the studio and she was she was there on the horse because it just made it look so much more cool. To, to be in that crisp white yeah. snow. Yeah. And this actress, actually, Julia Tobin, um, was a young Shakespearean actress who went on to be quite a big TV star in England, actually, after she'd made this, but I'm not taking any credit for that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and also, this, th th this video is, just think about this. this. This song was the biggest selling song in 1982 in Germany, and I have a reason why. Because if you think about it, it's the perfect beer keller music. Imagine sitting there with a big stein and going, boom, cha, cha, yeah. boom, cha, cha. It's a drinking yeah. song. <laughs> Put the drinking song back on, Jay. Every, everybody in the pub was getting it yeah. to that right there. <laughs> Let's get back. Boom, cha, cha.
that. Those drums were awesome. That Thank was so you. cool. Yeah. The synth, and then you're getting like the bagpipe sound, and then, like I said, the military drums right there at the end. When it comes to just the musicality part of it, you guys, what y'all were able to do was brilliant. Thank you. And what, and what um, you were able to do with the synth is just brilliant. Yeah, we, we, we just tried to do make make unusual sounds and challenge ourselves. And, and again, we were kids, you know? I mean, electricity we wrote yeah. when we were 16, We've made that video when we were 20. We were all 21, 22 when we made that song, so we were still kids. Oh, and Amber, by the way, I don't know if you noticed, she's a ghost. I never saw her. I turned around and she wasn't playing chess anymore, and then I, she, okay. she, went past the, she went past the window and I didn't see her on the horse either. I never saw Joan of Arc. No, Only that Paul didn't did. click. That didn't click. Okay, so I was, <laughs> I, I was thinking that I loved the video, and I was thinking that I loved the concept of the song because – when you think that you're getting a song of Joan of Arc, I didn't necessarily think of it as someone admiring or falling in love with her, you know, right? And like in the video that the way that you were enamored with her was really cool, but I did not catch that at the end when you when you handed her the cross that you she wasn't actually there. And I did notice outside the window yeah. The well, no, I it, it was Paul horse, that gave her the cross. Paul was Paul was playing chess with her. Paul that gave her the cross. Yes, I, I was singing out of the out of the window, and then as I right. turn, she's gone, and then the horse she's on the horse going past me, and I I never see her. So that was you never saw. That's so that cool. is crazy. Yeah, I love that. Man, it has been just such a fun fun week, guys. Hanging out with Andy McClessy. We've got some. This absolutely amazing stories. We've learned we've learned quite a bit about synth. We got to dive into three songs that you know we've never heard before. So it has been a very very successful week. And Andy, we would love to get you back on the show anytime you are free. I, I have loved this. This has been one of the most fun interviews I've ever done because of the way that you format it and you you know you build you build it around a video for a song but then you can take it wherever you want to go and that's been the fun of it so thank yeah. you both very much and definitely nice. we will see you in Texas next summer when we're on tour and I want to do more of the <laughs> yes. I want to I want to bring some more tunes to you guys okay Walking I, on air, please. Yes, yes. <laughs> hey, we would love to get you back. Whenever you have some more free time, yeah. uh, let us know. We'll reach out to you, and we would love, love, love to get you back on here. I want to do walking on air, like Amber said. Just, yeah. I, I want to get more in It was, it was never a single. Detail. There's no video for it, but um, I'll have that to go make matter. one. doesn't matter. I got to hear I have to go and make one now. <laughs> but, um, okay, listen. <laughs> this has been great fun. Thank you so much. And, um, yeah. You. Kids back at school tomorrow, so you know it'll, it's happy days. <laughs> uh, well, Andy, More quiet days, a little yeah, less. It'll chaos. be a lot quiet. Hey, you have a great day, buddy. Or well, evening for you now. It has been an absolute honor and pleasure getting to talk with you. And again, thank you so so much, buddy. Thank you. Bye now. <laughs>